So today we're revisiting the health and fitness trail. This was listed on the township's website as a park. Um, it was kind of difficult to film, you know, back when I was doing this series originally. So I kind of just dismissed it and never actually posted it. But recently it's come up again. Um, on February 13th council meeting, the question was brought up of what actually is the fitness trail? Where does it go? It doesn't have an actual destination. Um, that was argued by council saying, no, it definitely does have a destination. It goes to Runnymede and it goes to Washington Township. What is the purpose of the bike fitness trail for the township? But typically, I thought that trails would lead from, uh, from one place to another to be used for fitness, but also it had a destination. Well, you know, I disagree. Have you been on the bike path? Well, it is a, a fitness trail on a bike trail and it has uh, expanded greatly in the last 15 years. It is being, you know, hopefully connected to uh, Runnymede uh, and they connected to Washington Township. So if you have a chance, it runs, it runs parallel to the Black Horse bike. You can jump on at any intersection during that, that part and ride a bike. There's bikes that are available on Church Street that you can uh, take out for free just through the township, ride a bike there or take a walk or even run. So behind me, you can see this is, um, this is called es Essinger. I'm not sure what the heck it is. It's some kind of like a plant. It looks like it's a chemical plant of some sort. They have a lot of 55 gallon, 55 gallon barrel drums outside and some other stuff that looked like it was chemical to me. I don't know. Either way, um, it kind of goes down to Grenlock Lake. Um, it's uh, Main Street is the name of the street that you turn off of the Black Horse Pike where the uh, UPS store is across from the outlets. That's basically the end of it here. Um, so we're going to take a look at some of the signage around here and see what, what um, if this is actually a park. Because the following night um, at the zone, uh, planning board meeting, which was February 14th, um, the fitness trail came up again that residents do believe that this is a park, but now they're trying to say that it is not a park um, by definition. So we're just trying to just get some document some information and get, get your guys' opinion on is the trail a park? So this is the building of where the trail uh, either ends or starts, with, depending on which way you want to look at it um, this is Main Street up here where it comes off that's the Black Horse Pike and the outlets up ahead so signage here this breathe easy this is public property is smoke free um, this sign is located at all of our parks uh, there are an, there's an ordinance number here around that um, also Firearms are prohibited on township properties. Uh, an ordinance number located there as well. The signs here, it's the same signs that we have on all of these uh, parks. Dictating parks and recreation, Gloucester Township. There's a name to it, Gloucester Township Health and Fitness Trail. Um, so I don't know the, all the history of this, but I do know that this was a railroad path at one point in time, which there was a, I guess it was like a program you'd call it, like a trails to rails that was put together. But we have these bike stations throughout the, the trail here for you to be able to repair your bike. Um, there's, you know, bike pumps if you're given a flat tire. There are some, you know, some tools that you can see here. If you need a screwdriver or Allen wrench or something. All right, so I'm somewhat backtracking here, uh, but this is the outlet and the street that you'd turn on to start the trail, which is Main Street at Lou's and Sons. And the outlets across the street. And this is the uh, UPS store. And the... Note that there's like a, a bus station across the street or a bus stop um, sidewalks along the Black Horse Pike on that side over there All right, you might recognize this part of the uh, Black Horse Pike where the uh, Lidl is going to be built all along the pike here 
the trail runs behind all these properties, which if you follow the history of some of the things that go on around town, that's an important piece of information. So here's one of the crossways of the bike trail here, the health and fitness trail. There's somebody using it as a path. Um, it clearly says that there are no motor vehicles allowed on this path. It's for pedestrian and bike only. So I'm probably gonna get these terms incorrect here, but our entire township is an area in need of rehabilitation. Um, and there's one particular person, family, company, whatever you wanna call it, that purchased most of the lots that were um, within this one corridor of the Black Horse Pike. And it's within what's called a redevelopment plan, which uh, is called the Villages of Gloucester. That plan is still not actually made its way back to the planning board, which it should have. Um, there's one resident named Denise Coyne who has been asking this question for three years that the taxpayers have paid for a study to be done to see if all the lots that co that were purchased by this uh, individual corporation, whatever you want to call it, um, actually qualify um, to for certain you know type of funding or whatever the, you know, whatever the case was with it. But the bike path that went behind their properties was going to be one of the key factors in seeing if it qualified through multiple forms of transportation. Um, the, it was looked into about, I don't know how many years, a couple of years back, trying to extend the bike path because of the point of it not actually being able to doesn't go anywhere to have it the destination of it be the college so that those lots could qualify so the the college I mean the outlets being built across the street from that that might have helped make it you know qualify or connect it over to uh, the college as a another form of transportation there was the street there for cars there was the the bus route and this could be a bike route or a walking you know, route. I don't know actually what that, you know, means for anything, but it is something to note about a little bit of a history of how the town qualifies, quantifies, looks at this trail and, you know, how it's defined. But we're currently uh, looking at it under a different lens now and seeing if it is actually considered a park, which all the signage look like it's a park. Oh, interestingly enough, we have a cop coming up the path here. Looks like they're turning around. Not gonna speak to me. I've waved to them to stop, but they continued to just move along their way. Let's see if I can walk down and catch up to them because another cop is blocking the path up here. So they're pulling out in a hurry. I, they know I'm coming up back behind them here. I've waited for them to stop. Or I would like to know from them if this is considered a park. Hey, do you guys mind if I ask you a question about the trail over here? Yeah, I wanted to see what if, if you guys think this is considered a public park, like the trail. Well, it has like ordinances are like around like dust to dawn and no guns and uh, no smoking and stuff like that, right? Those are like local. Four parks, correct? For public places. Right. Yeah, I'm not a lawyer right here or anything, but you guys are law enforcement, so you would know the law, I would imagine. But that's an ordinance, not a law. But I guess it's the same thing, right? Okay. I was just getting your opinion. That's all. Thank you. But you can see this is one of the parks that is connected to this trail. The trail goes along here. 
and it makes its way over to one of our schools, Gloucester Township Elementary School. The trail runs along the school down there, and I believe it hits at least one more park along the way. I so this intersection of the trail is across Church Street. Uh, this is where our bike share kiosk is, which sadly has one bike. It's pretty lonely there. I've only seen one bike here for quite some time. Bike number nine, it looks like. Uh, but let's look at some of the signage around. Um, there are signs, just like all the other um, intersections where it has the ordinances around no smoking, the park signage. On the other side of the street, it says Blackwood Lake Park. Almost gonna get killed walking across the street here. So no one ever stops for pedestrians. Yeah, we have Blackwood Lake Park, uh, Nature Walking Trail, Blackwood Railroad Trail, Historic Gloucester Township. The caboose is here from Blackwood Station. So this is the continuation of the bike path coming down beyond these uh, apartments here. And it's actually, I was saying that there were one, there was one more park at least. Uh, I guess it was actually technically two more parks because we had Blackwood Lake Park. And this is another park that we did a episode on. Al Rawls Park is what this one is called. But the trail comes behind here. And it's gonna continue up into Blenheim. Be fair, I did notice this sign here that does say park rules has no dogs, no alcohol, no bikes, no skateboarding. Park closes at dusk. Um, I did not notice this sign at all of the crossings here, but it's considered a trail, which is for bikes and for walking your dog and for skateboarding. So park rules might not apply to the trail, which the trail could still be considered a park um, under whatever definition, whether you're looking at it for a, um, you know, for a grant or for something along those lines for green acres money. I mean, it, it could have a different definition, which is why they don't have the, the rules of the, uh, the park listed at the sites, but just figured it's something to note. All right, so this is the trail as it enters into Blenheim. So we have the uh, fire station right off on your left there. And we're basically right at the point where Wawa is right here. So there's a vacant lot and then the Hojo. And their property's back right up to this trail here. All right, so here we are on the other side of 42. When you're heading, I guess, north on the bike path, they're uh, replacing the tunnel or uh, putting a tunnel underneath of the 42 there, so it couldn't get down that way. But, you know, the path is going up along the uh, power lines up here. We do have all the same signage of bikes on the detour or rail closed thing. It's called the GT Health and Fitness Trail. Oak Ave is the end of the road of the trail. So it does cross over the road here and it goes behind this big, I don't know what this thing is. It looks like there's aliens over there. <laughs> I think it's PSE and G um, substation of some sort. But this is where the trail ends. Um, just comes to basically an abrupt end right here. So this is it, the end of the trail. As you can see, it does not go 
all the way to Runnymede here. Uh, there is part of a trail I know that picks up on the other side. So this is the other side of that, um, I guess it's a substation I'm calling. I don't know if that's the right word, but you can clearly see there is no path. And uh, when you come over here, this looks like a private driveway. And if you follow the same power lines, you can see there's no path off in the distance going up through Glendora. Now, I believe it does pick up at some point back over there, but it is not one continuous trail going from Washington Township to uh, Runnymede. So this is where that, uh, that image was showing us before and there's no trail here, there's grass. Yeah, so I was misinformed or misunderstood and just assumed that this trail did go and pick back up on the other side in Glendora till we get to Runnymede. But this proves that there actually is no continuation and where I showed you it ended, that is the end of the road. Because that is Runnymede right over there.